To celebrate the return of the Premier League, Tifo is offering 40% off an annual subscription to The Athletic for a limited time only. Please see the link in the description for more details. Timo Werner is an elite forward, but when he joins Chelsea, someone will miss out. Who might that be? Werner's attacking output is excellent. In Europe's top five leagues this season, he's third overall for goals and also for goals plus assists. Werner is also in the top 10 for a number of other key attacking metrics. Chelsea are securing one of Europe's best strikers, and so it makes sense to play him as one. Tammy Abraham is a top 10 player in only one of those metrics, non-penalty XG per 90. Now, in some ways, that's the most helpful indicator of overall quality, but he's still behind Werner. And Chelsea's 4-3-3 can only accommodate one striker. Werner has been used this season as a slightly deeper forward in a front two, often working in the inside left channel and running at defences from further back or involving himself in link-up play. He's now a more effective all-rounder than he was last season, while still scoring at a phenomenal rate. And Abraham would offer a different proposition off the bench too. He's hugely gifted in the box, but less quick and more physical. His goals are often the result of crosses, where his penalty box movement and finishing stand out, and it could be beneficial to Chelsea to have such a capable plan B. But Frank Lampard has expressed a desire to use both players, and Abraham is a good player, capable of performing at least some of Yusuf Paulson's aerial role in creating space for and playing in Werner. Should Lampard go with Werner and Abraham, one option is to play Werner on the left. He's naturally right-footed, though he can and does score and create with his left. But given how he plays as a striker in a two-man pairing, playing Werner as a left inside forward makes sense, especially with Hakim Ziyech likely playing from the right next season. Werner could work well in the same inside left channel, starting wider, drifting in field, and then either running at the defence before crossing or shooting. He's also added a more creative side to his game this season under Nagelsmann. His assists per 90 and expected assists per 90 are third and fifth respectively in RB Leipzig's squad. But the player he dees out, Christian Pulisic, has been quietly important to Chelsea this season. Pulisic's XG chain per 90, a per 90 measure of XG value of unique open play shot or goal ending sequences that a player was involved in, is the second best in Chelsea's squad. It's worth noting that Abraham is in the top five too. He's also scored at 0.42 goals per 90 and assisted at 0.17 per 90. Pulisic is a dynamic dribbler who either looks to push wide before playing the ball across or cut inside to play a through ball, link with Abraham or shoot. Maverna could do much of what Pulisic already does and perhaps better, but Pulisic is only 21 and can improve markedly. Chelsea also lack depth and variety at left wing. That could be an argument for playing Werner there with Pulisic as a backup, but it would give Chelsea flexibility in the same way as playing Werner as a striker with Abraham coming off the bench. Now the last option is for Chelsea to ditch the lone striker, either in a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-3-1, and then play a two-man striking team of Werner and Abraham. They would likely complement each other well, and Werner is more effective as a striker in a pair than alone. For the German national side, he doesn't play as part of a pair, and while the sample size is limited and national teams have less time to gel, he's clearly less effective. Chelsea could feel that RB Leipzig style 4-4-2, or a midfield diamond, with the players they currently have. But Jorginho has shown that he doesn't work well in a double pivot, requiring the security of two flanking midfielders to help him defend. Angola Kante and Mateo Kovacic would likely be the first choice pairing, a busy high energy presser and a press breaking dribbler with a good range of passing. This is probably the least likely option because such a seismic formation change to get the most out of one player is unusual, but a Werner and Abraham pairing might just be worth the difficulty. To celebrate the return of the Premier League, Tifo is giving away 40% off annual subscriptions to The Athletic. If you're in the UK, that's just £3 for a month or 10p a day. With a dedicated journalist for each team, we at The Athletic care about your club. And with us, you'll get unrivaled coverage with the same care taken for the smaller teams as the big. Please find the link in the description to sign up and thank you for supporting Tifo.